Okay, so let's get started. So I have a list of everything we need right here. So let's start off with below the map. We're going to take out a trigger volume that is CB2. And an animation gizmo. We'll also get a cube. Any cube, any size. But we're going to place it beneath the trigger volume. Like that. And before we do anything, let's configure and configure the cube and make sure that it's on environment and the optimize, uh, the it's on optimized gliders. Make sure it's on environment. <laughs> and then we're done with that. Um, okay, next off, let's get the go above ground. And we're going to take out a button and a projectile launcher. Uh, I'm going to configure the panel of the projectile launcher up here uh, and go into the chip settings and detach the attachment mode right here in Requiem Objects. That way I can just move this freely like this and I'll move right here for now. Um, now I'll rotate this downward and just put it up for now. There we go. That's about good. Now, let's attach the fire forward to pressed, just like that. Okay, now let's go all the way up, pretty high up, and configure uh, the projectile launcher. So I'm going to mess with everything later. But for now, we're going to do paintball type. Let's make the color periwinkle. And let's turn the count all the way up. As well as lifetime. And as well as spread. Turn gravity off. And let's make the damage zero. And turn sound off. And feel free to pause the video anytime. If you do need to go through these settings again. Um, we're going to mess with speed later. Uh, we're just going to test this out for now. So now we're just going to go back, back to our button and try it. As you can see, it's raining. Look at that. It's raining. Um, but now what we need is to delete the button. Uh, I'll try to explain this in the best way possible i don't think we want to be clicking a button 24 7 just to do the rain so right after we mess with the speed we are going to um delete the button so let's go back to the projectile launcher and mess with the speed um you can mess with this anytime just keep going back it's basically just uh just repeat Make sure that you got what you wanted. Uh, and that looks like rain. That looks really well made. Uh, yeah, I like that. So now what we can do is um, delete the button. And I'll move the projectile launcher down towards this. Here, let's move it up a bit. So let's connect the top of the animation gizmo to the cube. And let's press edit on the maker pen and press edit on the animation gizmo. Let's add a frame, go to move and just move this inside the trigger volume and make sure it's all the way inside. And then we can just click done on that. Now I'll configure the trigger vo the uh, animation gizmo, make this speed percentage 1000, and disable allow holding. Uh, let's press play. So on the number right here, let's click on that and just press one. Now I'll do this, or it should do this, and that's good. Now, press connect. Go to fire forward. And object entered. So essentially what's happening here is 
the object that's entering the trigger volume is enabling the projectile launcher. And then we can just do anything with this, really. We can do anything we want, but that's it. And now we got ourselves rain. And it looks really nice. 